let's look at how we can make a correlation table using Excel for Windows 2016, and specifically using the correlation tool that comes in the data analysis tool pack. So here I have a lot of data from one of my classes. We've got data on how much people like Justin Bieber on a scale from one to five, how much they like the Kardashians, how much they like, jo they like Star Wars, a couple questions about their job commitment, where one is low, five is high, something, a, a scale measuring, a composite score of measuring how much, the, what the quality of their relationship with their boss is, going from one low, five high, a measure of extroversion, where one is low and five is high, their commute time to school, because this is collected for an evening class, with no traffic, and then their commute time with traffic, their sex, where one is male and two is female, their age, and their shoe size. So I've got all kinds of data here, and I want to see how they're all related. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the data analysis tool pack, which hopefully is already installed. I click on data, and because it's installed, I have this button data analysis. I click data analysis. I choose correlation. I go to OK. Now the input range, I'm going to put this entire table. So I click up there and I'm going to go over here with shift arrow, choose all the columns. And I'm going to go down and choose all of the rows. And I've got it grouped by columns. And I've got labels in the first row, Bieber, Kardashian. So I check the labels box. And now the output options, I'm going to put this in a new worksheet fly. What does that mean? That means a new tab, and I'm going to call it correlation table. I'm not going to put it on the same sheet because it's going to be pretty big. So I've got the input range, the entire table, grouped by columns, labels in first row, and new worksheet fly. I press OK. And now on this new tab called correlation table, I've got a bunch of correlations, and that is one hard table to read. What we want to do is we want to get rid of a lot of, we want to shorten the decimals. So I'm going to, while well, it's still highlighted here, I go to home, I go to the number section, and I go to number. And now I have got uh, the, uh, um, the, the correlations in a lot more readable form. And so we can look at some of these correlations, and we might notice that, oh, look at the correlation between extroversion and just liking Justin Bieber. It's 0.41. That's, that's fairly high. And similarly, liking the Biebers and the Kardashians is correlated. I guess that kind of makes sense since they're both uh, pop culture type things. And I'm not sure about extroversion and Bieber if that makes sense. Um, I guess maybe if you're more outgoing, you might like him because he's a pretty outgoing guy. Uh, what other interesting correlations do we have? Ooh, look at this. If you like the Kardashians, you tend not to be very committed to your job. That's, uh, that's interesting. You might be a, a young career uh, a person. That could be a, a, a factor there. Um, it's a negative correlation. The more you like Kardashians, unless you're committed to your job. Um, anything else that's especially uh, interesting? Uh, here we've got um, job commitment and the relationship with bosses are fairly, those are medium correlations. Uh, your, your, depending on your relationship with the boss, you've got a uh, stronger uh, commitment to the job, and that makes a lot of sense. And so this is a way of looking at how all the variables are related. Now, certainly a lot of these are spurious. They just happen by chance because uh, we don't have too many data points, and we've got an awful lot of correlations. So some of them wouldn't hold up if we look at this in uh, 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 real life. But um, it, this is how you make a correlation table, and this is a correlation table. We've got the names of all the variables in this column and in the first row, and so we can see how everyone is related to each other. 
And we've got ones down the diagonal because Bieber is always related to Bieber perfectly. And we only have the numbers on the bottom because if we put them on the top, they would have been exactly the same. And this just makes a, a less cluttered uh, desktop. So this is how we make a correlation table in Excel 2016 for Windows.